Hey Shima, I suck at Sanctum. How do I get good? I'm struggling with damage. The number one way I would recommend to do Sanctum. Well, okay, there's two ways. There's two number one ways, Don't right? The They're both pretty fing good. The top two ways. Number one is relics. Relics can make even the most, like, the, the shittiest part of the Exile player in the world can do Sanctum if they have good enough relics. There's a relic, for example, that gives you max resolve whenever you kill a boss. And because there's lots of guaranteed bosses, including one double boss, that will give you several hundred resolve for one relic slot. And you can have like four or five of these. So, like, you, you, you're you not gonna fail with like 3,000 resolve. You know, you're not. Like, you'd have to like literally be f***ing the worst. I mean, I, I can't imagine a bad enough player that you would fail with full relics. Like, it's just impossible. The thing though is obviously to farm a uh, Sanctum efficiently, you want to get relics that give you currency, but it's capped at 1k, right? But you get my point, right? You're not gonna fail with good relics. Like it's just not possible. Like it's you, it's just not gonna, it's, the, it's literally just not possible. So my first piece of advice is if you're really struggling, buy some good relics. They're actually quite cheap because, um, Nobody really runs those relics because they don't give you money, right? So they're actually very cheap. I died to Lycia. Oh. Well, that, sadly, unfortunately, is a skill issue. That is, unfortunately, a skill issue. So I will give you some advice on how to deal with Lycia specifically. So Lycia has a red circle that hits about as hard as a Shaper Slam. Just don't stand in the big red circle. Um, her other ability that will kill you is going to be the Lightning Beam and the, the Laser Maze. The Lightning Beam is a channeled ability that you just stand behind her. And then the Lightning Ways I would recommend having a Topaz Flask and a Quicksilver Flask candy. Make sure you have enough movement speed and a Topaz Flask and Life Flask to help with that. Now, if you're um, dying to any other ability, chances are you're just too squishy. Like, you don't need much defense for Sanctum, but, you know, you might literally be on, like, one life. Like, you might need, like, you know, I don't know, like, 2k life. Yeah, the, the realistic solution to this problem is to just get enough damage that she doesn't use any abilities. Like, on my SRS build that was literally, like, 12 hours old, that character, 12 hours old, was already phasing Lycia before she could do abilities. Like, she she, she basically just dies. Like, she just phases insta-basically. So, having enough damage to trivialize Lycia is a good piece of advice, for sure. But you can do it with way less damage. Just don't get hit by, like, three abilities. And those abilities are very well telegraphed. What were the easy mode relics? Right, so the easy mode relics... And remember, you, you don't want to run these forever. You only want to run them until you feel comfortable. And then you want to remove them because they're not going to give you money. Um, but the easy mode relics were... Maximum resolve when you kill a boss. And then the other stat... Because remember, relics can roll two stats. The other stat was inspiration when you get an affliction. So I'll give you an example. I'll give you an example. Now remember, it's important as well to buy relics that fit. So I think I bought coffers. Coffers fit really nice. Max resolve. Fountain also works here too, but I like resolve. I like boss because it's guaranteed. So in Ancestor League, as you can see, basic shit like this. And remember, the, the, the slot is kind of important. Like, coffers are nice. What's the one that's really shit? Is it get candlesticks? Um, candlesticks are dog shit. Avoid candlesticks, but papyrus and coffers are okay. Now, if I was to buy, like, something like this, for example, as you can see, uh, let's even go with a tenor. So something like this chat, as you can see, uh, 150C, one divine, one divine. You don't need too many of these as well, I think. You can only fit like four in. 
Um, but it would cost you like maybe a few divine orbs and this would be primo shit. For, for context, when I did my challenge, I bought one of these, literally this exact relic. I bought this exact relic for 100 C and that one relic, I just had one, made it like, this one relic made it like so much easier. And I only had one, so you don't need four of these. I would recommend trying one and if you're still struggling, two, if you're still struggling, three, so on and so forth, until you don't struggle. They will be 100 C. Well, here's the thing, right? Watch this, ready? Now they're 20 C, 40 C, right? You don't have to get like the biggest dick roll. Hell, you can even go down on this one, right? You could go down to like, like look at this, you know, 18 C. Like this, th these, just buy these two, boom. Now it's like, buy these two, boom. Life is easy now, right? I'll give you a, I'll give you a link anyway, there you go. You can also swap to boss damage as well. Yeah, like, th that's the thing. Never copy one-to-one. -one. The the point that I'm making is the important part. Relics can be used to make the run easier. You don't have to copy what I just posted in chat. You could do um, max resolve on fountain. You can do boss damage, right? You can do, um, a, hell, uh, just reveal room with inspiration at the beginning. I think they're about 100C, 70C. Uh, that also makes it easier. But the, the point that I'm making chat, relics are good. Right, that's all That's all the point that I'm making is, right? Relics are good. Like don't neglect them, they, they help so much. When I'm still struggling with Sanctum, one max resolve on boss kill already helped me enough to never fail again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. I think a lot of people like him like tell tell me in chat if this is you how many people do one sanctum really fucking struggle and get demotivated and they're like nah this sucks because let me tell you chat i fail sanctum at the beginning and i consider myself a fairly good player right sanctum is hard at the beginning dude it's fucking brutal it's actually genuinely hard relics are cheats relics will trivialize it you just gotta, you just gotta, sometimes chat, you just gotta, you gotta get your relics, that's it, is what it is. Like, one relic can be the difference between you struggling, and failing, and literally you never fail again. People also think it needs to be done at peak efficiency. Yeah, I mean, you will get to that point. Like, like, look at my 24 hour VOD, don't actually, because it's 24 hours, but if you look at my 24 hour VOD, you'll notice, at the beginning, I was pretty slow. But by the end, I was like, deja vu. Never been this way before, right? I was like speed running. You know, you don't have to be like, you don't have to be doing like 15 minute sanctums when you start out. That will naturally come over time. When your build improves, you improve as a player, you get better relics, you know? Just don't be discouraged. Cause uh, ev everyone struggles a bit at the beginning. It is what it is. Except for Ben, Ben doesn't struggle. Yeah, I, I get anyway, I, that was advice number one, by the way. Uh, the other bit of advice that I had was your build. Um, this is a hard truth, but some builds don't do Sanctum very well. This is true for Heist, it's true for bossing, it's true for mapping. Some builds um, just aren't very good for Sanctum. You, generally speaking, want high bursts of single target that can be done at ranged. So things like SRS work really well. Things like Bone Shatter are a bit harder. Um, Righteous Fire, when you're starting out, is like really bad. Yeah, so some, some builds are gonna be a lot better than others. Like if you are particularly struggling, like a lot, a lot. Like what's like the worst possible, it's gotta be like Righteous Fire, right? What's like the worst build chat that you can think of that would really get fucked by it? Cause Bone Shatter is not even that bad. Divine Ire. Cast no Stegen, Stormburst. Yeah, I can see something like Stormburst being god awful. 